Alright, I'm going to work on the old Ford again today. And uh, there's a couple things we have to do. A couple small things before we uh, start welding the floor in. And let me show you what they are. Alright, right here, you see this little square hole? There was a, a nut back in there, and that nut held down the tunnel. And uh, they, they, I think they call them ca floating cage nuts. And, and they weren't any good. There's still a couple in there. But uh, for the most part, they're all missing. So I got I need one here, one here, and one up here to finish this floor. And uh, if I ordered them, it's going to take about a week or so. And you got to buy ten of them. Ten of them for about twenty bucks. So instead of waiting, I do ha have some like a they call it a U clip here, and uh, I could have made that work. I could have stuck that in there. And, made that work somehow but uh, it's a little hacked up and hokey and this here is an actual uh, a sort of a cage nut a floating cage nut you see the way that nut is just sitting in the bottom there and you can actually move it they call this one sided uh, nut but that's only five, uh, a half inch you know and I, I, or a quarter inch and uh, I could have used that and, and it would have worked and everything and I even had these, these are like uh, aircraft uh, nuts. I could have actually uh, put that in the bottom and tacked them in, but they're only quarter inch. I probably could have uh, drilled it out, that's an idea. That would have been easier. I could have just drilled that out and retapped it. But instead, what I did was uh, I made these little slugs, these little plates, about a quarter inch thick. and. Uh, I'm just going to put them in there and and tack weld the sides there. That way, if anybody ever wants to make it original, they can. But uh, that's what I'm going to do to solve that problem. And then uh, we got uh, another thing. Uh, the the cross member here. We uh, we got it inside, and uh, we got to make a little modification to that. And uh, then we can start uh, putting everything in. Uh, let's go inside and we'll show you what we're going, what's going on there. Alright, I got the floor pan in here. I got it all prepped up. I got it all ground around the edges and everything all where we're going to weld it in. And uh, I clamped the, the mount down here. I clamped that on where it belongs. And it's going to go there and, and the edges and you know, everything. That'll uh, pull tight when we uh, clamp it up. But uh, everything's fitting nice. But here's our problem. If you look inside here, there you go. You see that the little hump there? And it's a, it's a divot up top here. But that's uh, our bolt goes through there. And then uh, you just barely see the hole on the bottom there. But on the original ones, there was a, a big piece of uh, reinforced steel in there. You know, it must have been about a, not, not a quarter inch, but maybe, maybe about an eighth. Something to reinforce it. So when you, when you tightened it down, you, you when you tighten the mount down, the rubber mounts and everything, you wouldn't you wouldn't be crushing this uh, sheet metal. This uh, probably only 18 gauge sheet metal. So, uh, like I said, there should be a, a piece of uh, of steel across here to reinforce it, but there isn't. So even even the guy that replaced the floor before me had like this. Uh, he had this. The, I guess that's about two inch pipe. And he had that in there, so when you tighten down, it wouldn't crush it. But I, I measured and everything, and it uh, it's uh, one and three quarters. And I had a bushing. It's a brass bushing. I put it in there, and, and it fit perfect. And I at least know what the size is now. But uh, I don't want to put brass in there because I want something that's going to stay in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a piece of round stock here. It's thick wall round stock and that's the exact same size as the the bolt and washer that goes on the top here so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a piece of that inch and three quarter and weld it to the, the bracket down here that way it'll never move you know if somebody changes the mounts again you know if, if for some reason that thing gets dislodged or something then they're, they're not gonna be screwed so I'm gonna uh, I'm going to make a piece out of this here and uh, we'll uh, weld it in there and then, uh, then we're going to start uh, putting everything back in the truck. 
Alright. Alright. Got that welded in there. I like the way that looks. Uh, now we'll go uh, weld them plates in the, in the truck there. Alright. Got all the little nut plates going to put in place here. Welded in. And uh, oh, check for that the light. Alright. Yeah, there are, are uh, nuts, so uh, sorry about the, the glare and stuff. That's just the way, you know, I got shadows going on here. But uh, I ground all of this, and uh, when we're going to put the stuff on there, we'll, uh, we'll cut it flush with the other piece and then butt weld it. And like I said, this piece here is going to get overlapped. And then back here, it'll get butt welded. But I got that all ground up, so uh, all ready to put the the mount in so uh, let me go get that all right we got the cab mount all clamped in there and bolt where we want it and uh, around here we got it all leveled up and this side clamped in and everything so uh, we're all ready we're going in I won't be able to film it because uh, I'm running out of daylight here and uh, I want to get that on there so if we can we'll show you when we're done all right yeah, we got the bracket all welded in there. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, the tips came out pretty good. There you go. And uh, everything's nice and flush. I'm real happy with it. And around the front here, let me get down here. Not only do we do rosettes here. Where you at? Where are you guys at? Yeah, I got four rosettes holding that in, but then around the front here, everything is all welded in here. So this, this thing ain't going anywhere. And this will this will get all ground and, and nice looking, but uh, I was worried I was worried more about penetration than anything. So, all right, so that's uh, that's a big deal there. All right, I got motor lawn now. Sun's going down over the mountain there. You know, mountains in New Jersey. What are you talking about? All right, so uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, all right. It's the next day. And uh, I got the floor pan in here, and uh, it's clamped in place exactly where it's going to go. And uh, I marked up exactly where I want to trim it. It's almost, it's right where it's at, but I just got to take maybe a sixteenth of an inch off of there so I can weld it in place. And all this stuff is nice. It's all, it's all fitting good. And it's funny, these, uh, these rod holes that I had to cut out are actually uh, benefiting me. And this here is a, a, steering, a steering column hole here, but that's... Uh, I'm able to clamp the, the, the panel in place, and I'll be able to cut it. You know, I can uh, I can run my hacksaw right along the edge here, and then we can uh, butt weld that up. And without without them, it would make it a little tougher. So uh, that's okay. I even got it bolted to the floor here, so it's uh, right where it's got to be. And I crawled under there and uh, marked out where the bracket was, so I can. I can uh, drill holes in uh, here so we can uh, weld it up and uh, while it's uh, while it's out and I'm doing that I can also uh, paint everything that's not going to get welded down here so uh, including the bottom of this pan here it'll make uh, less uh, painting after it's uh, in place so uh, enough talking let's go inside and uh, cut some holes drill some holes I even drilled the holes I, I marked out the holes here where the the screws go in. I could, I, I'll actually hold my plate down while I'm uh, welding it. All right, let's go inside. All right, I didn't lay down where the, the bracket's going to sit and everything, and I started drilling holes. And uh, I used this unit bit. You know, I remember when these first came out, you know, everybody thought they were a joke. You know, everybody in the body shop business and stuff. But it turns out they, uh, they're a real deal. They save a lot of time. You don't have to center punch nothing. You don't have to put a, a, a guide hole, a pilot hole or nothing. You just uh, go at it. And uh, this is a good one. This is a, this is a Greenlee uh, model uh, 34403. But uh, I don't think you have to have a good one like this uh, if, you're not, if you're not in the business. You probably get uh, decent ones at Harbor Freight, but uh, they're worth having. Now let me finish this up here. See the way it just goes in there? It doesn't walk or nothing.
All right, let me finish these holes up. All right, I put this pan back in again, and this way I, I can mark all my holes on the, the cross beam there and uh, put a piece of tape on it. That way I could, I could paint up as much as possible. All right, I'm not crazy about that weld through stuff, huh? I don't know too many uh, body men that do, do uh, use it, so uh, we'll paint as much up as we can. All right, I taped everywhere that uh, we're going to put spot welds, and I'm going to paint inside that channel and uh, whatever else I can get around there to make it easier so, uh, you know, I don't have to get on my back and paint it. But uh, right now I'm going to paint stuff that uh, I won't be able to get to once we weld it up. All right, yeah, that's all done. And uh, tomorrow we'll take the tape off and uh, should be able to weld it in. Yeah, that's just uh, frame paint, anybody wants to know. You know, it's all the same stuff. Just uh, get the cheapest if you're going to use it. Because, like I say, it's all the same stuff. It all works. All right. It's the next day here, and it's uh, beautiful out here. Except it's, it's hot. Matter of fact, I even put up my little tent here. Uh, it's about 85. It's supposed to go up to about 90. I've been out here all morning. It's about 1 o'clock now. And... Uh, I got this uh, panel in here. Yeah, this uh, gets a little redundant and a little uh, boring because you know you have to take it out, put it in, take it out, put it in, you know, and it's, it's just a cut and fit if you want to do it right. And uh, right now, I got this and I uh, got some self tapping screws to pull down this metal perfectly flush with the, with the cross beam down there. And uh, that's where I'm going to start. You want that to be perfect. And then uh, I got a clamp down over here, and that's good. And uh, even up here is good. Uh, but when I was screwing this down, everything we got a little pucker here, but that's no big deal. You know, we just put a little relief in there and uh, clamp that down. And uh, what we got to do now is uh, cut this. I got my uh, air saw here, and you probably can't tell, but there's already a a slice in there going all the way to here so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clamp it back here clamp it here and that'll give it a little rigidity and then just run a, a cut right along there and uh, that should give us a nice perfect butt butt weld there so yeah with these screws here you know I had all this stuff in the way here so I tried to use this right hand uh, attachment on the drill and uh, you know it, it was kind of awkward and, and sloppy and it wasn't working right but here's something that everyone don't have it's a, a right hand drill and uh, if you ever come across one of these in a flea market and you get it cheap you know pick them up you know I mean new they're, they're expensive you know this one was probably I don't know 180 200 bucks I don't know but uh, well worth having you know, any speed you want slow speed fast speed and it's forward and reverse but it's, uh, it's a good tool to have but it's pretty heavy especially for Makita so uh, all right I got a nice breeze blowing through the doors here so uh, we're okay like I say it's 85 but uh, we're in the shade and it's uh, got a breeze blowing so uh, we're all right so I'm gonna cut this and then uh, we'll start tacking it in place and then uh, we'll give we'll give you a look at it when that's done all right all right. All right. Let's try this. It's going to be a little noisy because you got the these these here are going to be rattling, and this will be vibrating. That'll be vibrating, and uh, I got you guys hanging from the steering wheel, so you're you're going to see this upside down. I'll try to stay out of your way though. All right. Let's give it a try. into this metal but that's okay let me get back online here
maybe I'll get the grinder and try to grind. I didn't want to do that because this this blade's a little thinner and it's easier to to tack weld it. So, uh, all right, let me cut that and uh, we'll turn you back on. All right, I got you a better angle there, and uh, I took my grinder, my little uh, grinding wheel, and I cut a little uh, slit in there. And it's easier for me to pull towards myself that way I can see what I'm doing. And it's in See as I'm getting towards the middle there's uh, it's flexing a little bit, that's why it's vibrating so much, but we're almost there. Perfect. Put a clamp on that. Pull that right in. Alright. I'm going to weld that up and then we'll turn you back on. Alright. Yeah, here's the piece that was back here. Or was it this way? Or this way. So, I'm just going to worry about right here to here right now. So, uh, let's give it a go. Let's see what we can do here. This here gives me a little control with this helps me move that in or out. Alright, right there is perfectly level. Blue through right there must be pretty thin. there so uh, now I'll just fill in these little holes and uh, I'll show you that when we're done remember this isn't a how-to video I'm just showing you progress of how we're doing here all right it's been a few minutes and uh, got this all welded up solid all the way across here over here down here and across the back 
that's all solid got our uh, rosettes in here and uh, I'm glad I did that because it's solid man that's uh, that's stronger than it's ever been out of the factory so all right yeah what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna do this back edge but first I think I'm, I'm gonna do these uh, rosettes and maybe I'll, uh, I'll throw the camera on let you guys see some of them and then we can take all them screws out of there and and then finish welding this up Alrighty. pretty good so uh, I'm gonna finish them up take screws out fill the screw holes in and uh, it'll be done up there all right just finished cleaning up for the day and uh, see what we accomplished I took the blocks off we're sitting on the blocks you can actually see the truck is sitting crooked because if you look at the back of the cab this sides higher than the other and before I started the job I made sure that that was that was level, so that's how that's how far off it is. So that side's got to come up that high now. All right, that's where we're at here. All right, we're all finished welding up and uh, plug welding and stuff like that, and uh, I'm happy with it. It's solid, probably better than when it was new, but uh, we still have a few things to do. We got. Uh, that little square there, that little patch we got to put in. Get this little patch over here. And I got two little ones right here. And once we finish that, then uh, this all the, all the rot on this side of the truck will be done. Then we got to move over to the other side. So, uh, all right, it's probably going to be a long video. It's Wednesday now. I'm probably not going to put this up for the weekend. I'll give you guys something to look at this weekend. So, all right, what do you say? Enough of this. Alright, see you on the next one.